No. Sorry. You have to stay in the building, so when the protocol's ready, we can give it to you immediately. Charlie's feeding you again. How do you feel about that? Well, I'd like for her and Edward to be part of my child's life. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear that. Okay. What is Monica in what condition? She, um, she has a lot of faith in Robin. I know for schools, you have to keep a diary every time, you know, from start to finish and what are you doing or uh, what were you doing at the time. Uh, I'm going back to my own roots and I actually keep a diary of the date, uh, beginning time, end time, what I'm doing, or what needs to be done. That's basically it. Say for instance, like earlier I had to rock him. You started at 326 and ended at 332. Of course, it's rocking. Uh, I also add, when I do the feedings, the start and end. Uh, then feeding, and then what am I using? Either a juice bottle, formula bottle, or pacifier. Um, most, a lot of people don't really do that, especially people that own these babies. But uh, I think it's cool to actually keep a diary and to see what all he's done and what all I had to do for him, and it's actually pretty cool. Right now, this feeding has started at 3.54, so we'll see how long he got this for. I've also found it easy to, um, if you want to use a pacifier and you don't want to, like, hold them like you're supposed to when you're feeding them, a swing actually works. I've tried out a swing before. It actually does work. I wish I had one um, to use, but with me living in this, this camper, you know, don't really have a lot of room. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get a swing that I can take apart and put in the possum belly up under the camper to use uh, while I'm on the road since I travel or for a carnival. Yay! <laughs> so hopefully maybe I can get a swing that can be taken apart. Um, I've also been able to use a little bouncy seat that works as well for the feedings. Uh, just turn it, if it vibrates, turn it on to vibrate, and that works as well. And it also works for um, when it wants to be rocked, but not as good as the swing does. Swing is excellent to use. So if you have one of these, I advise if you can get a swing, it helps. But as far as the rocking with the bouncy seat, it doesn't work all too well because as well as turning the vibration on. You also have to rock it or hit it with your foot to create some rocking motion in order for it to work. Um, car seat works too for rocking. Just put them in the car seat and either kick it with your foot or however you're comfortable with doing it. And that works for rocking too. 
judgment. I've seen some people on YouTube uh, use the car seat for burping as well, which how can you get experience with burping with rocking the car seat out on one of them? When I burp them, I actually pat him on his back to burp him. But when it, whichever works for you is the best. I do what I can do for myself, which works for me, and it works wonders. So, hopefully eventually I will begin to swing to use for feedings and rockings, whatever I have him on, which, uh, with traveling on the road and working, I don't get to have him on as much, but hopefully I will this year. And right now it's 3.59 and he's still feeding. Mr. Dum Dum's uh, association. Well, for stars, Your Honor, um, I'd like to show you that I wear heels today because I can. As you can see, yeah. Mr. Dum Dum has the a red problem. On, Doc. Yes, sir. And I'm wearing this outfit to show for that. Me? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, for you. Oh, for you. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, to show what? what? Actually, show that Mr. Dum Dum has a Napoleon complex. The fact that he's 5'4 and I'm 5'8. He has a problem with that. Yeah. You say, you don't mind. I don't mind he can take care of business standing up. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, I'm just... No, I'm just... No, I'm just... No, no, no. You, no, you got the wrong idea. Look at it. Y'all missing turkey. Y'all missing turkey. Y'all missing turkey. When he eats, he loves to eat like a, <laughs> a real baby because he can go for a while. I can't wear heels around here. I ain't got a problem with that at all. Yeah. I got a problem with her. They used to get baby. Male strippers. That's the Doesn't get fussy that too many okay, times, which the with these babies, like they do tend her. to get fussy, so but I mean, because of simple fact, I mean, he has his moments. Some days you know, he's really fussy. Calls, um, he just wants to fuss and ever, you know, it's, eat it's and come to find out from a friend on one of the fan page that I'm on on Facebook says and it, hi Ella says that um if they're fuss if the babies are fussy a lot and all they want to do is eat and they eat a lot it's because they're sick and I am really starting to believe that because I've had him be really fussy one day and he did eat a lot so my, my son was sick so thank you for uh, pointing that fact out to all uh, baby thinking over mommies and daddies on Facebook now, I'm not your boy. I'm not your boy. You just respect me. Okay. So, once again, how do you expect for the woman to live if you're asking her to get rid of her business? Because she know what it was when she got with me. We talked about it. We sat down. We even talked about it. She said, okay, yeah, I'll leave it alone. Did y'all talk about that part? Yeah. How, the that money? Part? How you going to replace the money? I'm just saying, no, 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 I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just very curious. No, we didn't, dis we didn't discuss the income. Now, were you going well, to I was wor it? I'm working at the time, so I feel like, okay, well, you shouldn't have to do that. You, you okay, know, you anymore. felt you would have enough to take care of both y'all? Pretty much. <laughs> Lightweight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, ma'am. He First said that all, was the problem. That was not the problem, Your Honor, because a lot of the men that called me were not strippers. And that little cry right there is because they were also, you're supposed to be holding your, the baby on your feet, but if he doesn't sense any type of movement, he thinks that you're just propping him up to feed him, so you have to have some type of movement when feeding the babies. So that's why having either a bouncy seat or a swing out creates movement of some type. Bouncy seat, car seat, or a swing. All right, ma'am. Every time a man would look at me and pay little attention to me, he'd sit up there and be like, uh, why are you looking at my woman? Wanting to fight them and confront them for nothing. 
and I have to pull him back and like, honey, well, you should not see some of the things she wears not... too, y'all. I mean, oh, it ain't just about the dress. height or the pumps of the shoes. I mean, he's dressed like a school teacher today, but <laughs> I like my jeans. I've heard my some things about school teachers to be quite frank. <laughs> Thank you. <Boy. laughs> Tell me about the damages you're suing him about. What happened? Well, Your Honor, he, I was actually under a heavy medi medication in uh, February of 2010. So she getting high, too. Yeah. <laughs> All at the same time. I mean. No, it was due to I have herniated discs in my neck, my back, and I oh. have a torn rotator cuff. So it was actually legitimate medication. Okay. And because of that, Mr. Dum Dum only had permission. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't stop laughing. That's the man's last name. Harvey only have permission to use my car when I'm in it. You're not supposed to take my car when I'm not in it. So far, he's making for ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I enjoy. I enjoy riding when I can. Oh, she let me borrow the car. Let her finish, sir. Go ahead. So February 12th of 2010, he took my car without me knowing. I'm in my bed under sedation. I could not drive at that time. He's supposed to be downstairs watching TV. He takes my car without my permission and ends up wrecking it. But, uh, she gave me I have pictures. Let her finish. I have estimates. Let's see. What did he run into? God only knows, Your Honor. You didn't get the story? Sure. He claims he didn't hit anything. He said he hit a tree. That is not a tree, well, Your Honor. I told you what wow. I hit. Was the car in good condition? It was brand new, 2006 Chevy Impala. My goodness. Oh. Yeah, that's what he did to my car. Mm -hmm. Sir? Your Honor, she gave me permission to drive that car. Mm -hmm. Why was she why she said she was up under sedation or whatever? And she gave me permission to drive the car. I took it out for a while, told her I'd be right back. I wanted to go to the store. He went to the bar. Whatever, I got a call from one of my friends. And um Yeah, I, um I picked up a few buddies and um <laughs> we were riding around. Were they at the store? Pardon me. Were they at the No, store? they were at the house. That's where you told you were going. The case continues after this. And coming up on Judge Mathis. Dylan is a drug addict, a pill popper. Um, he's... What type of drug? Uh, he does anything, any pill, any... anything. You got some Zantac out on there, but just doesn't have to get him high. Yeah, anything. Oh, okay, well that Zantac won't get you high. <laughs> it just stop your stomach acid. And later, women in Detroit, and not all of them, they will cut and fight a man. Oh, okay. uh, not everybody. I'm okay. uh, just trying to warn these men. To be careful. <laughs> that don't jump on none of these Detroit women. You will get cut and beat. That's all. I believe in tough love. With emphasis on the love. You've proven your case. Oh, he loves the eight feet. It's Progresso's loaded potato with bacon. It's good. <laughs> Honey. Oh, my gosh. I love you. Oh gosh, look at these big pieces of potato. Mm. What's that? Big piece of potato. Progresso. You got to taste this soup. Hershey's chocolate syrup. Syrup for smile. We take it a day at a time. That's how it is with Alzheimer's disease. She needs help from me and her medication. The Exelon patch, it releases medication continuously for 24 hours. She uses one Exelon patch daily for the treatment of mild to moderate Alzheimer's symptoms. It cannot change the course of the disease. Hospitalization and rarely death have been reported in patients who wore more than one patch at a time. The most common side effects of Exelon patch are nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The likelihood and severity of these side effects may increase as the dose increases. Patients may experience loss of appetite or weight. Patients who weigh less than 110 pounds may experience more side effects. People at risk for stomach ulcers who take certain other medicines should talk to their doctor because serious stomach problems such as bleeding may worsen. People with certain heart conditions may experience low heart rate. Whenever I needed her, she was there for me. Now, I'm here for her. Ask the doctor about your loved one trying the Exelon patch. Visit exelonpatch.com to learn more. I'll tell you what's not funny, driving without insurance. The other day, me and my little car in this SUV tried to use the same lane at the same exact time. I lost. Need auto insurance? Get insured for as little as $39 a month at the General. 
free quotes and lots of discounts. Give it up for the general. The fact that he's 5'4 and I'm 5'8, he has a problem with that. Yeah. You say you don't mind. I don't mind him being short. He's business standing up. Yeah. <laughs> Plaintiff Teresa Carnes is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims he didn't trust Teresa because she promoted male strippers for a living. Go ahead. Um, I did stop off at the bar. I did have a few drinks or whatever. I dropped him off. And uh, before you know it, I was on the E-way and I lost control of the wheel. Like I said, I was kind of, you know, tipsy. I was flow, rather, and uh, I ran into the, uh, the middle guard wheel. Drunk driving and... I ran into something, which could have been a person. But I didn't hurt nobody, been, so... Could have been killed. You risked the lives of others, sir. Because that's exactly what you did. Um, why don't you believe you should pay the damages? I've done so much for Teresa. Uh, I've, I've taken care of her when she was sickly laying in bed. I took care of her kids. Uh, Household-wise, you know, uh, I do plumbing and natural coal. So anything that she needed done for her house but was wrong with it i fixed it you know i feel like i did way over maybe three thousand four hundred thousand dollars worth Have of you job. ever mentioned that to her or did you just come up with this no no you not mentioned at all. it to her before yes i did yes, and I what did. did she say she she wasn't trying to hear she's like okay well i did tell her i was going to try to pay her for the car rather um my job had laid me off so you saying all these things you did for her, perhaps you're trying to get her to drop the suit or reduce the damages. Do you choose to reduce the damages? He has cleaned your house. What off 16? Plumbing on here, working with the pipes. What'd you say you did? Plumbing, let's plumbing, plumbing and let's electrical call, and yeah. plumbing and all of that. Yeah. So are you going to reduce anything for all of that? No, because he did 18,000. <laughs> Uh, 3,000 for the plaintiff, sir. Thank you. He's too jealous. He's too insecure. I can't deal with him. That's why we're not together. Tonight. Whatever, man. Just, you know, you, you can go see your little man and your G-strings and your butt, or, you know, your booties or whatever, you know. Okay, okay. Whatever. I'm going to keep seeing my man and my little G-strings and keep breaking in that little dollar. Right. Right. I'm happy to put That's it in cool. my pocket. Do what you do. Do what you do. Clarissa Nelson was friends with the defendant, but after his mother passed away, he started smoking pot, which eventually led to his use of prescription pills, crack, and crystal meth. Clarissa is suing the defendant for stolen property. Defendant Dylan Tom admits that he was a drug addict, but says he completed a drug treatment program and has been sober ever since. Dylan insists he returned Clarissa's property, except for the cell phone, which was lost by the police. Tell me what's going on. Um, Dylan is a drug addict, a pill popper. Um, he's... What type of drug? Uh, he does anything, any pill, any... anything. Any? I've... Um, like, like prescription. I got some stomach stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got some Zantac. I don't know if you just... Does it have to get him high? Yeah, anything. Oh, okay. Well, that Zantac won't get you high. <laughs> it just stop your stomach acid. All right, go ahead. You said everything, oh, uh, but really. prescription pills. I know. Oxycontin, Oxycontin the heroin substitutes, the... Lortaz, Vicodin. Okay. Um, I've known him since middle school. Uh, at about 15, his mom passed away. It was really hard on him. He started uh, smoking weed and doing uh, lower tabs um, and drinking a lot. Um, a couple years after his mom passed away, he started uh, shooting up Dilaudid, um, doing crack, smoking meth. Um, anything that he could get high off of, he would do it. He didn't have a support system at home? Or? He would, um, the, like, what do you mean? Like a dad or no. sibling? No, he had his sister and his grandma. Huh? His sister and his grandma. What was the nature of your friendship with him? We would smoke weed. Okay. That's the extent of your drug use yep. with him? Yep. Okay. How do you know he was doing all these other things? Because he was there. I was there when he was doing them. He would just sit there and watch? No. Huh? No. Um, they, would, they would be in, a, in the back bedroom and they would come out and tell me. 
what they were doing. Okay. Some other friends, mm -hmm. mutual friends. Mm -hmm. um, At what age did this start? Probably about 17. You all were still in high school? Yes. What um, city? Duluth, Minnesota. Okay. Were you all in the inner city, the suburbs? We or? were in the inner city. Okay. Um, a lot of poverty and crime in your area? On a hard setting, I know you do have to feed more. But Let me hear from him, sir. I haven't really had him um, on any other settings. I, I customized my own setting. Good to hear you. One time uh, before. I completed treatment in uh, March. It, it was um, all different so ranges seen. of How hard, the hard setting. Three times a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. And times it seemed to be more four times a week. Uh, the same than just okay. well, the people I know one regular. Uh, it's hard to explain the different settings. There are different heroin. types of easies. Um, they went to twice or different levels of easy, different uh, levels of medium, different levels of hard. Few months, so. And they went seven days a week. Do Some levels no. are hard, are harder yeah. than others. That's all you should just and I had you him on the, the yeah. I guess you could say, the you hardest of hard levels. And he needed and wanted more care <laughs> than anything <laughs> else. Every time I turned around, I was sitting to him doing <laughs> something. <laughs> Dylan, you don't have anything else to do? No. And it was wild. You gonna make it a wild experience. Right, right now, he's awesome just on a... I have a friend, I like to brag on him. And we grew up together. I guess you say a random he became a crack art level where he was on crack he does any other different levels came to me and said, I get of heart. By this time, I had come out of college. He's really not that bad except when it comes to agency, some of his feedings so and rocking. He went to NA and classes sometimes twice burps. a day. Seven They'll be like week. extremely long. Well, about Six, seven months. Like his feet in his mouth. But he went to NA classes for about 15 two. years before he stopped. Never relapsed. All right? And others that I've seen, that has been their formula. All right? All right, that's the formula. And I can kind of understand, if you went through what she says, that's a horrific uh, experience. My mom died when I was 18. That was a horrific okay, experience. 22 minutes now. Uh, but, you know, you should use that as a motivating factor in your life. Is that what led to your drug use, you believe? Trying to escape the pain? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. More of Judge Mathis in a moment. There was a fight that happened, and I didn't want to be there when the police showed up. So I asked Clarissa. I asked. I'm leaving, man. What else? You can't tell me why she made everybody leave. Tell me she want to be alone. That doesn't sound right. Somebody sitting up partying with somebody, and then abruptly, while everybody's partying, the smoke getting drink dead, she said, I want to be alone. School administrators, a lot of times, and politicians, just out of touch right. with what's really happening on the ground. Because anybody with common sense would know that if you take kids from one area where it's gang infested, uh, take kids from oof. another area that's gang infested, <laughs> right. and you put those two together, they're gonna fight. Exactly. Now you're gonna put them right in the same school. All month on Judge Mathis, unbelievable cases. And uh, you know, three yeah, other guys yeah. who made love to her. Everyone has. You want to buy oh, One more word. I'm throwing you out of court. All rise. Right. This is my neighborhood. Ain't nobody scared of you. For Judge Mathis, all new, all this month. <coughs> buy one, get one free. Plus a free eye exam. At Stands and Optical. Bobby Jones in Washington. Finding a chicken sandwich meal you want to commit to is hard. At Backsmatch, our comprehensive one-step process can help. Ask yourself, do you love chicken? If so, we've got your perfect match. How do I know? I'm not just an extremely sincere spokesperson. I'm also an extremely sincere member. The Chicken Finger Sandwich Meal. Three of our delicious chicken fingers, Zach sauce, and...